Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, who are tuning in to this uh, Cygnus Alpha Down and Safe video. It gives me great pleasure to welcome the one and only Mr. Michael Keating. Well, thank you very much. How are you doing at the moment, Michael, during oh. this, this lockdown? Oh, how are you doing? fine. As you, I don't know whether you know, but Sue and I is how we met. We're both very keen ramblers mm -hmm. and we go walking. We did today, didn't we? Yes. Very nice. So th that's fine. We love it. So uh, we're quite happy to be hanging around for the lockdown. But uh, <laughs> I'm to tell you, I had the virus, which uh, I'm now over. But uh, wow, okay. I don't know if you've heard about it, but this uh, <laughs> virus is well, a lot of people were getting it, weren't they? So there we are. <laughs> I'm fit now. My goodness, so so was it was it quite serious or was it a mild... mild I, well, my wife says it was quite serious. I mean, I don't yes. remember too much about it, actually. I just went to bed for a few days. So. Matt, sorry, just, I just, can I allow to jump in? Yeah, yeah Mike please. wasn't... Um, Mike was um, off really quite ill for about a month, actually. He didn't sure. go to hospital, so he's still a bit tired, actually, oh. and uh, and recovering from, from it, actually. So just to, just to say. <laughs> but he's um, getting a lot better now. <laughs> Sue, Sue, stay where you are. Do you want to introduce yourself to all the Blake Seven fans who will oh, be watching? Yes. <laughs> Hello, I'm, I'm Sue. I'm, I'm Michael's wife. Yes. Is um, that who you are? Yes. Right. <laughs> and we've been living together in this house since 2003. That's so we've right. been here 17 years. Yes. yes. And got yes. married in 2006. I think it was. That's yes. It. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so we enjoy our life together with lots of grandchildren mm. and. Uh, Lots of walking and yeah. um, enjoying. Well, you it, trying to it, usually enjoying London, the arts and the and oh, the yeah. cinema and everything. But at the moment, that's a little oh. bit uh, obviously not on. Not easy at the moment. <laughs> Sue, anyway. before before you go, I'm going to ask you a question, if I may. All right. Okay. Have you watched? Have you ever watched any Blake Seven? Well, to be honest, when I first met Mike, I'd never watched any Blake Seven, and I didn't really know about it, partially because. Um, when Blake Seven was on, I I just had triplets, and so um, oh, nothing to do with me. Nineteen eighty, <laughs> so I was slightly busy, as you yeah, can imagine. Yeah, just I a think, little bit, yeah. And our television had broken, so we didn't have a television at the time. So, um, but then, but I since then I've I've watched quite a few and and do really enjoy them. So yeah, I think they're great fun, and I've got lots of friends who are, who are big fans so when when they heard that i was going out with michael they were very excited <laughs> i have to say <laughs> is that is that enough thank you very <laughs> much thank you. To, to to Indeed. thank you sue thank you very much and and also we should say thank you to sue who's helped um set up this interview as well so thank you very much so so michael um obviously we all know and love you for blake seven um, and and it's still still remembered with so much fondness and love and joy around the world to this day. Mm. But before we sort of like go into to Blake Seven in a bit more detail, mm. I, I want to ask you about the events that you've gone to over the years, the conventions and, and yeah. meeting the fans. What what do you get out of that? I asked I asked the same question to uh, Brian Croucher and yeah. um, Sally Nevet. Um, so I'd like to ask the same question to you. I enjoy it very much. I love talking to people, you know, and uh, chatting about the past and what they do, what their lives are. Um, yeah, it's great fun. I mean, I, I don't don't forget. I as a youngster, when I was a teenager, I used to hitchhike a lot, and I hitchhiked right, right right across Europe, and I used to talk to people on you know buses and and also lifts and all that. Could be dodgy, I have to say. Yes. But, um, uh, you know, and I've always loved that. Yeah, just meeting people, and it's great. There's no Good. problem. With it. Good. Yeah. And and is it? And I suppose it's also nice to to meet up with uh, old friends and colleagues. Yes, absolutely. Yes, see people. I mean, alas, we're all beginning to get a little older. Yeah. I mean, I'm not 39 anymore. You know. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, you are now 40, aren't you? So. Um, 73, in fact. 43. But, uh, okay. Wow. Well, 73, but uh, <laughs> there we are. I've still got some of my hair, yep. and uh, and I've got the most lovely wife in the world, of course. And we both love hiking, traveling. I mean, today we were hiking, weren't we? Yeah, yeah we, you know, near here, even where we live in South East London, we decided yep. to go through the walk. Great fun. I mean, yeah, we're enjoying life. That's amazing. good, and, and 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 that's what Blake Seven still brings—a lot of enjoyment. Yes, to, to people. And I mean, 
for you, I mean, you you appeared in every episode. You're the only person to have appeared in every episode. They were going to kill me off, you know. I think it was around about the third or fourth uh, episode. I can't remember. I've got some really? Video. I think it was on the cards. And um, anyway, I did, did every one. <laughs> so, so, they, so they were going to kill you off in series one, do you think? I, 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 I can't remember, to be honest. Yeah. But I, I got a feeling they were early on. They wanted a, they wanted a death. That's yeah. What they, you, know, you know, you need a death bit of drama. Uh-huh. And um, I think dear old David Jackson. Yeah, as it. Gan. Yeah. Yeah. That's, there we are. That's oh. that's showbiz. <laughs> what what it, what it is? It is showbiz indeed. But you know, um, he he was a very good actor, a very good character. Yeah. But yeah. your character, you know, the decision was made for you to to carry on, and and so that's you right. did. And, um, and I got the lovely thing of I've always loved travel because I think I've told you I went to Australia when I was ten. Yeah, by ship with my family, and it all went wrong. Came back six months later by ship, but I've always loved travel. So the idea of going to the states and you know flying in, and in fact, sometimes I could stay over, which I did one time. I went down into the um, Carolinas. Have you ever been in the Carolinas? No. It's full of hillbillies, and I got on a bus, and it was full of hillbillies. They, where are you from, son? I said England, New England. So I said, no, no, old England. They went, ah, do you know the Queen? I said, not that one, no. But it was. <laughs> experience with the I mean I don't know what it's like now this is quite a few years ago we then stopped in the middle of nowhere and they all got off apart from me and I said to the driver where are they going he said they're going to walk 20 miles to the hollows where their families have been farming since George Washington wow. apparently I mean this is a I don't know how it is now in America yeah. you know this ancient sort of white tribe I then carried on and went ended up in um, oh gosh the capital of United States is, oh, my memory's going, Washington, um, Washington D.C. And uh, I, I said to somebody, where, where can I get a, I need, need a cheap hotel. I said, you'd be best if you check into a black hotel. Now, this is before Obama. I went to this black hotel. It was a quarter of the price. And Mr. Keating, we're really pleased to have you here on Shah Suite. Nothing wrong with it at all. It was fantastic, actually. And that's what I did. And then eventually I came back to England. But uh, I love all that, you know, traveling around and talking to people. <laughs> yeah, would, would would you say that you that there's a sort of like gypsy in you then to to be a a, a travelling? It could element? be yes. Well, I was I was that generation. We well, our dads used to hitch during the war. I mean, I used okay. to hitch, and uh, I mean, I, as I say, I hitched through what was then West Germany. Yeah, and uh, I remember some guy gave me a lift with a Union Jack. I was hitching. This guy said, "Well, the Führer did a lot of bad things, but he did build beautiful autobahns." I said, "Oh yes, they're wonderful." Yes, but as I remember telling my wife, I said, "I don't think he." To build them himself, but no. uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I used to, I just love traveling around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and, and like you said, you're you're still able at the moment to go out hiking and doing bits. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, well, we live in South East London now, but mm-hmm. uh, I still we still walk with the North East London Rambler, which not really matters that much. Not, not always with them, but we go off walking and uh, yeah, you know, and then soon I go abroad and hike around. It's lovely. So, so you 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 can definitely orienteer a map and use a compass and. Uh, well, if I can't, Sue's always there. So, uh, but yes, I know what a compass is, and I have led her into the wrong country. And uh, but anyway, that's another story. <laughs> no, it's all great fun. I love all that. Yeah. Well, I, I I'm glad to hear that you are on the mend, and yes. you know, all, all all Blake Seven fans really love and respect you. So. Oh well, thank you very much. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure they're sending you all their best wishes at this well, time. I send mine too to them. Yeah. Thank you. The series, you know, it ran for for four years. Four, yeah, four seasons. That's right. Four, yes, for four seasons. As an actor, it was four years worth of secure work. What yes. was it like to have that level of security at that time? Well, you didn't always know how long you're going to be secured in it because, of course, you you know they needed a death at one point. In yep. fact, at point one stage, apparently, I was on was on the cards. They're going to kill my character off. Yeah. I managed to stay with it. Dear old David Jackson was killed off. Uh-huh. Um, I think it's because he used to get a bit annoyed about what they were giving him to do. And I, yes. I don't know. He's no longer with us. but uh, So he did die in it early. But um, yeah, I stayed with it for the 52 episodes. And as I say, went to the conventions and everything, which uh-huh. is great. You know, I have nothing, no complaints with that at all. No, but the, but the level of security it gave you, that must have been reassuring for you as an actor, though. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I mean, I... After that, I did. Um, oh God, you know what I did? I I, I did. Oh, my memory's going. 
I played the Reverend Stevens in um, EastEnders. EastEnders, yes. Yes. And I did, uh, I think it was 56 episodes of that. Yeah. They then sent me to Australia, which I said, well, that's interesting. I did live over there as a boy. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, no problem with that. No, no problem with soap opera either, you know. No, I mean, your, your character in, in I mean, you, we, we'll, we'll talk about EastEnders now. It was, it was very much a, a, in terms of your acting style and ability, compare that to, to Villa, it showed oh, yeah. a complete different side of your of oh, what yes. you can bring to a part. I mean, as, yeah. as an actor, it re, it, you know, obviously there's there's the time difference of what mm -hmm. thirty mm -hmm. odd years or, or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. But Reverend Stevens was very much, you know, a a very laid back, very in a way he was very much more like you mm -hmm. as a person, whereas yeah. Villa is is more of a whole character completely different to you would you agree with i would that? say he was an hysteric yeah uh, yes and i don't think the reverend stevens was <laughs> <laughs> no but, unless uh, he was at the communion wine or something perhaps that's right but uh, quite interesting that with um, playing a reverend stevens because i i can't remember how old i was when i started doing it i must have been in my early mid 60s i can't remember i'm yeah. 73 now and um so I used to go travel up, but eventually, I think, was it when I hit 68 or something, they insisted that they had a car for me to take me up to, um, wow. which I used to say, I wish to God I could go, you know, get the car, get stuck in traffic jams. Yeah. I could, you know, get the train up, get there earlier. Anyway, that's what they wanted to do. That's what they wanted to do. Gosh, gosh. <laughs> and a lot of your scenes were uh, in EastEnders with June Brown. That's right. Yes. Lovely lady. Yes. Yes. Because I remember seeing her. I remember when I first met her. I said, I saw you at the Royal Court Theatre. It's when I was about 18. I think I was still a drama student. She said, well, you've got a very good memory. I said, it was the last time I went to the theatre. And but, no, <laughs> but uh, yeah, she was lovely, June. Yeah. Uh, oh, they were all great. No one gave me a hard time. I yeah. think when you're playing a vicar, they don't, do they? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's quite a, it's a gentle, <laughs> gentle yes, part, wasn't it? Yeah. You just mentioned uh, theatre. Before Blake Seven, you did work with um, the late and great Mr. Paul Darrow. I did his... indeed. Yes, well, I first worked with Paul or just I, just after I left drama school. It was, uh, yes, I think it was a rather bad production of Julius Caesar, the old Bromley Rep, not long before it burnt down, nothing to do with me or him. Uh -huh. And um, uh, that's when I first worked with him, that's right. And uh, then I did Julius Caesar the movie with Charlton Heston, where I corrected him on his lines. I was playing Second Citizen. And uh, I'd never been asked to do another movie. I don't know why. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> he was a very nice man, Charlton Heston. I mean, you know, he's a big star and all that. So I was second citizen. I said, well, you know, you did, I did, I. He said, oh, did I, Mike? Yeah, you got that wrong. He said, did I? You're absolutely right. We'll go again. And as I say, I've never done another movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's still time, you know. There's still I know. time. I know. Absolutely. <laughs> um, the, the, you know, we were just talking about Paul Darrow. The, 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 the connection between Avon and Villa, I yes. mean, such a beautiful love-hate um, relationship. It very well, didn't it? Yeah. 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 As I say, I, I'd met him, I'd worked with him at the old Bromley Rep, um, so I had met him. But, um, yeah, it did, it worked very well. He was lovely. And yeah. do, do you think it helped, the fact that you'd had known each other previously and worked oh, previously? I'm sure it did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know... But, you know, as actors, we all, you know, well, like in any job, you, you know, break the ice and get to know yep. people. You know, yeah. Good. yeah. And um, as well, you know, that, that relationship carried on, especially in the latter series, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it was really, really clear that these two, they, they cared for each other, yes. didn't yeah. they? They really did. That's right, yeah. A year or so before Paul sadly passed away, mm -hmm. you both appeared on Pointless Celebrities. We did. I know, yes, yes, I, yes, we did. You know, I can't remember that very well now, but I was doing a lot of other stuff. At the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yes. did, that, did it? That's my wife saying we won. Yes, I think we did. Yes, you did. You did win. You did win. Yeah. So you should have a trophy somewhere. I think somewhere. Yes, <laughs> I've got two. Oh, Sue knows. I've got two apparently. Yeah. Ah, right. Okay. Put one on eBay. It's great. <laughs> Were you surprised to be asked to do something like that? Because. It was because of the Blake Seven connection that you and Paul were asked. And, you know, bear in mind, right. at that time, it had been 40 years since the show had started. Yeah, it? Yeah. No, well, it was lovely to be asked. And that, that's, that's good. You know, I enjoyed it. No problem. Up until recently, and we don't really know what's going on with 
big finish at the moment, but we won't no. spoil anything or reveal anything. But hearing you back as a uh, Villa on the audio range, my God, it's like no time has passed at all. The performance is still the same. The, oh, that's the, nice to say, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I absolutely, I mean, I, I like them. I like everybody on them. Going back to the actual show itself, those four years, um, what was it like? Yeah. Yeah. What was it like going into the BBC to record? I mean, BBC Television Centre has uh, a reputation of that time of being, you know, an amazing place of, of creativity. Uh, is that how you felt about oh, TV yes. Centre? Oh, yes, yes, it was. Yes, there were people there. It was interesting, people you met, you know, and it was, yeah, it was great. I, I enjoyed it very much. It was yeah. good to do. Did you rehearse at the uh, the the Acton rehearsal rooms, which most actors call the Acton Hilton? The Acton Hilton, we did, yes. Um, as I remember, although I think towards the back end of it, I think probably, God, I can't remember that. I don't, it's funny, I did so many of them. I think um, a lot of I was rehearsing when I arrived, actually. Yeah. But, yeah. But, you know, it's nice to do. Mm -hmm. No problem with it. And, uh, I'm quite happy now. I'm a, I'm a pensioner, as you know, and yep. I'm 73 now, and um, still enjoy me hiking and um, being with my lovely wife. So there we are. Absolutely, coming. absolutely. <laughs> um, have you ever watched any of your episodes of Blake Seven? Did you watch them when they went oh, out? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've got them all. So I've still got them all. I don't sort of sit at home watching them, but I, I have. Yes, I have seen them. Yes. Uh -huh. over the years. I think my so, daughter's I think my daughter borrowed a load of them actually. So she's oh, she, seen them. She yeah. needs to give them back. Oh yeah, I think she may have done, but yeah, I remember when she was a little girl, she said, Oh, Blake Seven's rubbish. <laughs> when I was uh so had a Scots accent at that time. <laughs> yeah. I want to ask you um about the last episode of Blake Seven, if I may. Well, yes, it was it was like the death of Hamlet, really. It was the end of the uh, End of the era. Mm. So. Do you, I'm sure this question has been asked to you many times across the years, yeah. but do you think everybody did die at the end or did they get away with it somehow? I've got a feeling we all died. I think oh. that's the way it is. Oh, no. That's, that's life. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we all but I, I'm, sure, I'm sure somehow Avon survived. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Did you did you keep anything from from the show? Did you keep any of your scripts or did you any costume? Yeah, props? I, no, I didn't. No, I don't think we we're allowed to actually. No, I don't recall keeping anything from certainly not costumes because uh -huh. um, they check all that out. Yeah, and, and yeah. props. Um, and as for scripts, I probably did, but I'm you know having. Been married now to Sue yep. and moving around. I yes. don't think I have any scripts, I'm afraid. No, no, no. That's that's fine. I was just wondering if you if you if you still had anything. But but I, I suppose the one thing you do have are lots and lots of wonderful memories of your time working with working with lovely people. Yes. And yeah. and 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 traveling the universe, battling the, the, the federation. Absolutely. Yeah. And and. The, Interesting that I work with Jan Chappell because I used to go to a Saturday, I got to tell you, I went to a Saturday morning class at the old uh -huh. girls' school with her. And um, so I then ended up working with dear old Jan. So yeah. She should be in it, yeah. Uh -huh. oh, it was great fun, the whole thing. I have no regrets. No, no. Regrets. And, and and like I said, it, it, it's, it still holds up today. It's still enjoyable to watch. Um, sure. we, I, I was just, just asking you about the last episode and the reason why I asked you about that is because Later on, uh, when this video goes live on uh, YouTube, we're going to do a... Um, or I'm inviting all the fans to press play at the same time, and we're uh -huh. all going to watch it in our houses oh my God. all across the world and, uh -huh. and do a, t a Twitter thing. So uh -huh. they'll, be, they'll be saying them what they like about it and how much they're enjoying it. So okay. do, do, you, do you remember um, Sasha Mitchell? From that story, yes, 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 vaguely, yes, yes. She, she was in an episode, wasn't she? Yes. I have a revelation for you. Um, yeah. We've interviewed Sasha for one of these videos. Yeah. And she said that uh, he, she fancied you. Oh. Really? <laughs> yes. you tell my wife that. <laughs> <laughs> she needs days then. 
<laughs> all the questions about Blake Seven have been asked you over the years. I don't think there's there's a a, a question that hasn't been asked. But mm -hmm. when you when you do find yourself remembering and thinking about Blake Seven, mm -hmm. what is it that you remember with? What is what is what is the the one thing that comes back to your mind the most? What is it? I think the humour that we all had. We all, we always had a good laugh most of the time. I mean, things went wrong, obviously, but I think it, that that was it was a party sometimes. Yeah, quite a few times really. No, I think that uh, that's the positive side. Things went wrong, as I say, and uh, yeah, people could be late or whatever. But that that's that's it was enjoyable. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I as I say, I did EastEnders, as you know. Yep. That was interesting to do, but it wasn't exactly one long laugh from no, start to finish. No. But, uh, it was all right. And I suppose, you know, you were, you know, this group of actors coming together to do this show for four years. Yeah. And obviously you're going to oh, be, yeah. you know, rehearsing and then in the studio. So you, you all got on and, it, and, and that carried on and still yeah. carries on, doesn't it? That's right. Well, you have to. You have to be able to get on in the end because, yeah. you know, you're working together you've got to be able to get on one way or another <laughs> indeed and yeah. like and occasionally you still meet up with you know those of those of the cast that are still still with us at convention I done, yeah. uh when i've been to i haven't been to a convention sue when did i last go to a convention Can you remember I... your last event was in um at the musical museum in brentford that's right back, was, in, it? back in um september and that was with with, with sigma alpha with myself um, and yes. it was re really nice to see you and Brian Croucher yeah. uh, watching an episode right. together, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's great value, Brian. He's he's very good. Yes. Uh, very good and uh, very critical in his own way. And he's <laughs> very, very, yeah. 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 Um, I, I suppose we 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 do need to mention Gareth Thomas as well. Um, yes. yes. You know, yes. uh, again, a fantastic uh, performance as Blake and 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 all the other work he did. Um, yes. Were, were you surprised and, and worried or shocked when he when it was announced? That's it. I'm off. Well, when he left us. Yeah. Uh, when he left the when he left I the TV series. Coming. I think I could see it coming when we were doing the series. Actually, he was getting a bit tired of it all, and yeah, uh, oh, we've been down that that road, you know, before and all that stuff. And uh, so my wife just closing the door. It was an aeroplane. <laughs> no problem. And. Um, yeah, I think he was getting a bit tired with that. He wanted to do... I think a lot of his mates were saying, what are you doing that rubbish for? And all that, you know, how yeah. actors can be in bars and that, you know. And he was wonderful in it, but, uh, yeah, yeah, he decided to come out of it. I, I should really ask you about the, the Doctor Who you did as well. I did with Tom Baker, bless him. <laughs> yeah. And I remember bumping into Tom just after when we started doing Blake 7. He said, well, the only difference between Blake 7 and Doctor Who is I'm not in Blake 7. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> typical Tom really but he was great fun as well when I when I worked with him because it was a bit like the old days with television we would um, rehearse and uh, we'd go and have a drink afterwards you know yeah. and then uh, we weren't sort of like doing an episode bits of it every day we were doing you know like the old days of yes yeah and he was good fun yeah <laughs> and that that was a, a story called the sun makers it was indeed yes 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 and all, and all about um Having to pay taxes and and Sorry, yes. things like that, but you've you you've got some experience about taxes, haven't you? Because what did you used to do? Oh, I worked for Inland Revenue at the time. Yes, <laughs> when I was out of work. No, yes, as I remember, oh, I did all sorts of stuff like that. You know, yeah, a lot of temporary work. Um, I worked for the Office of Fair Trading. Did I ever tell you about that? <laughs> no, that no, you great. didn't. Yeah, with a wonderful blind lawyer who used to come in on the tube and count the stations, Arif wow. Khan, his name was. And I, I worked there, I was out of work for quite a bit, and I worked there for quite a time. And he, he I remember when I was leaving, he said, if you, know, you have any problems with you or any of your friends with legal work, this is my, he had, gave me his address and everything. And they were great people, very nice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I did when, all sorts of temporary jobs, yeah. which when, is good. When, because yeah. You can play them, you may, may be well be playing a character like that, you know. Yeah, it 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 gives you that 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 yeah. real life experience to bring to right. characters, doesn't it? When you were doing that sort of uh, work, did you ever get spotted as being an actor? Did anybody recognise you? No, at that time I hadn't done a lot of. I don't right. think I, well, I hadn't done anything. But, oh, I did. I get recognised. I did. I get. Oh, Sue says I did. Yeah. The OFT. Oh, the OFT. Yeah, they they'd see me in whatever it was. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Michael, it's. 
we're we're sort of coming to the end of our yeah. uh, time chatting for this uh, video. Your performance in Blake Seven uh, is still in the hearts of all fans across the world. I'm just wondering, do you have a message at this time for Blake Seven fans? Well, it's been wonderful being in Blake Seven, and 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 I hope to see them all again at some point. It's some more conventions would be very. <laughs> I'd be very happy to do more, to be honest. Absolutely. And bring my lovely wife, who uh, yes. Sue, knows Sue. me better than anybody else. Absolutely. I could tell you terrible stories about me. And finally, um, what I'm asking uh, people who are watching this video, I'm asking them to make a donation to charity uh, as a result of watching mm -hmm. this video. Uh, would you like to uh, nominate a charity? My wife is a volunteer, a major volunteer, to save the children. Save so the I think children. that would be quite a good OK, so what I will do is I'm going to put a link to Save the Children in our yes. video description. And if, if those of you who are watching this video, if you can make a small donation, uh, that would be great. Michael, um, I want to just say thank you so much for giving up your time. And it's always a pleasure oh, speak, you. speaking to you. And uh, you. We, we all wish you very, very well. I wish you well too and everyone else.